Hello everyone, this is Vincent Chan from Porter.net. Today we'll be taking a look at the Clef Crust C920, a PCIe 4 SSD, and more importantly, Clef's first PCIe 4 SSD. So this features the Fizen E18 controller as well as some very fancy Micron's 176 layer 3D NAND. We'll be getting into it and let's see whether it's any good. So let's go! Let's start with the unboxing. So on the front here, you can see that it has a darker finish compared to the Clef C720 and also that the drive is actually black. You can see the Chrome Clef logo as well as the teal branding for the Crest C920 so that you know what you're getting. And there's also a sticker up here that tells you that you're getting the 2TB version so you know you don't have to flip the box over to see what's on the back. So along the front here, so you get some information like the NVMe 1.4 support, SLC caching, 3D NAND obviously, and also backup software included as well as the 5 year limited warranty. Now, flipping it over to the back, you can see that there is some information, additional information about like NVMe, LDPC support, and also the fact that there's SRAM, but yeah, some sparse information as well as the speed claims. So this drive only comes in 1TB and 2TB capacities, and the 2TB version we have here goes up to 7,000 megabytes per second read and 6,850 megabytes per second write, which is really, really damn fast. And yeah, definitely the fastest drive we have tested yet. On the inside, you get this plastic tray, which holds the drive pretty solidly, tightly. And yeah, you probably won't have the drive swinging around unless someone decides to play rugby with your puzzle. So yeah, I digress. <laughs> and the drive, as I mentioned, is held on quite tightly. And this is the drive itself. So this is a two, I mean, two-sided PCB. So you get non-end memory on both sides of the PCB. On the front, you get the controller, which is a, the Fizen E18 controller. It's somewhere underneath here. So let's go over some of the specifications of the Clef Crust C920. So we got here the two terabyte version, which gives you 1.91 terabytes of usable space. It supports the PCIe 4 X4 interface, and also comes with 256GB Micron 176-layer 3D TLC NAND packages, which is why you have 8 packages on this 2TB drive. Along with that, you get 2GB of DDR4 memory, and they're actually the SK Hynix CJR DDR4 memory, which are actually featured on quite a few memory modules that can be overclocked quite high as well. But obviously, you won't be overclocking the memory on your SSD. So the rated speeds, as I mentioned earlier, is going up to 7,000 megabytes per second read and 6,850 megabytes per second write. And the endurance is rated for 1,400 terabytes written, which is gonna take you literal ages for you to finish. And the dimensions are pretty standard for the M.2 2280 form factor, which means it's 80 millimeters long and it should fit in most laptops and also desktop motherboards. And it weighs just 8 grams, so you shouldn't add too much weight to your laptop. And as mentioned earlier, it comes with free copy of Acronis True Image HD, which will help you clone your laptop or your desktop drive over to the Clef Crust C920. And yes, it comes with a 5-year warranty, so you get additional peace of mind. So yeah, the test system used is the Intel Core i5-11600K, which does support PCIe 4 SSDs as long as you connect it to the first slot on the motherboard. And yeah, that's about it. That's important about the test system. Let's get into the performance. So, as we mentioned earlier, the Clef Crust C920 is claimed to be the fastest SSD we have tested and it actually does deliver. So, in crystal disk mark, we see it deliver to 7066 megabytes per second read and 6976 megabytes per second write. So, that's actually faster than what they claim. So, they claim 7000 and 6850 for read and write respectively. But yeah, we're getting slightly above that, which is nice to see. With the Fizen E18 controller and the latest 3D NAND from Micron, it seems that Clef has made a very, very fast SSD here. So moving on to AS SSD, which is a slightly more stringent test, we see write and read speeds taken down a notch. So when in AS SSD, we see that the read speeds are 5,935 megabytes per second and write is at 6,046 megabytes per second. That's still really fast, and of course, obviously, with so much speed, the 4K speeds are also really high, but not exactly that much faster than compared to your normal PCIe 3 SSD. Unless, of course, when you consider the heavily threaded 4K test, which does take a bit more advantage of the PCIe 4 bandwidth. And in Anvil Storage Utility, the results we got in AS SSD are supported, with sequential speeds are well over 5400 
megabytes per second in both read and write. And last but not least, we also took a look at the drive in IDA64 linear write test, which we can see that there's about 33% of the drive being used as the SLC cache. So how you can see this is that it maintains the high write speeds all the way until about the 33% mark before it starts to drop off, whereby it goes back to around, it jumps at around 1000 something, 2500, which is still very fast, but yeah, not nearly as fast as the initial 5881 speeds that it maintained for 33% of the drive. And as we have expected, given the most modern PCIe 4 controller we have, the Clefcraft C920 actually runs significantly cooler than most PCIe 4 drives we have tested. It even runs cooler than certain PCIe 3 drives. Even without a heatsink, we saw temperatures of only around 60 degrees Celsius when we absolutely hammered it with rice. And once we slapped on a heatsink, it gone down to 52 Celsius, which is very cool actually compared to you know some hotter PCIe 3 SSDs that we have tested in the past. So we also tested it for the real-world gaming performance and we found that it delivers absolutely stunning performance, loading Final Fantasy 14 Stormblood in just 9.76 seconds. So compared to the next fastest drive, it's about one whole second faster. So if you want to get the added advantage of fast loading speeds to get into the game faster, this is definitely the drive to get. Yeah, so I think at this point we have established that the Clefcraft C920 is a very fast and consistent drive and it also runs cooler than most PCIe and PCIe 4 SSDs we have seen in the past so that's a pretty nice surprise. Considering that how the first gen of PCIe 4 SSDs usually overheated to the point that they needed a heatsink to operate normally, this is a welcome change. And now let's go on to the pricing which is RM1709 for this drive. So we are talking about 2TB drive, so the price is definitely on the higher side but if you consider all things including its speed and its coolness, I think the price is pretty well justified. So I think by now we have established that the Clefcraft C920 is a very fast and consistent drive. It even runs cooler than many PCIe 4 and PCIe 3 SSDs we have checked out in the past, so that's definitely a welcome change. Considering especially that the first gen of PCIe 4 SSDs overheated to a point that you needed a heatsink to run it normally, this, without hissing, you can still use this and I think that's a pretty nice change coming from the past. So, the pricing of RM1709 might seem pretty steep, but then you have to understand that this is a 2TB drive and it's so fast. I mean, yes, and it's also so much cooler than many of the drives we have checked out in the past, so I think the price is quite justified. I really can't find any issue with this drive and this is a drive that if you want the PCIe 4 SSD, this is the drive that I would recommend for you. And yeah, so that's it for my review of the Clef Crust C920. Do let us know what you think of the drive and whether you think PCIe 4 SSDs is prime time now, whether you should still continue to wait or whether you should get them right now. Do let us know what you think about that. And yeah, if you want to get more videos and more cool stuff like this, you can check us out on Instagram, Facebook and also follow us on our page whereby you can not get notifications for every new post we publish. And that's it for our review. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.